dear scholar how are you doing you welcome back to the to my youtube channel and welcome to today's episode of the 30 steps to a guaranteed scholarship my name is bisola miriam obia the convener at the african global network for reduced inequalities the founder of the left handers international organization and of course your study abroad coach and lead instructor at the study abroad and impact africa consulting sac for short so today i'm going to be sharing another strategy today's step is step number five step number five so in this in this step i uh, will simply in this video i'll be talking about step number five specifically i'll be talking about the points consider the short-term and long-term expenses remember in the first step in the the first step is clear your head and um, uh, identify your Achilles heels. The second is um, clear your debts. The third is commit to a source of income. The fourth being compile your documents. The fifth, which is what I'll be addressing today, is consider the short and long term expenses. The journey to a fully funded scholarship is not a, is not uh, 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 is not impossible, but it takes good planning and it takes structuring what you want to do. And getting it done within the shortest possible time so in addition to what I've just said you must take note that there are some short term expenses there are long term ex middle term or even let's say long term expenses so what are those short term expenses you must ask yourself since you have now committed to a source of income you're I believe you're saving or you perhaps have some money in savings already the next thing you want to look at or focus on is to put together the needed resources that would help you to take care of immediate and long-term expenses short-term I mean and long-term expenses in the meantime before you even talk to any school before you make effort to submit any preliminary document for the for your for your personal introduction or for you to introduce yourself to a school or schools you need to put some the some money uh, aside to be able to get your student copy transcripts from your university you need to put some money aside to be able to use data to send emails to these people you need to have some money to be able to review or get us at the study abroad consulting for example to review your letter of introduction your statement of purpose and of course your transcript or res um, your resume I, I beg your pardon and or your letter of um your which of the which other document now i mentioned letter of introduction i mentioned your transcripts or resume your sample of academic writing yes so you you need these documents really you know you have compiled them but the next thing is you must put money aside to take care of some expenses that would um that may that you may need that may that may come up and what are those expenses for example Subscribing for the SAC crash course is one expense and if you do that, you're going to be saving a lot of money. Subscribing to the SAC crash course gives you free, I mean, free access to the hack book that contains all the, all the samples or templates or done for you, if you like it, samples of LOI, SOP, CV or resume and of course um, guide on how to do your academic writing that you can adopt and guess what you get lifetime access to this content yes lifetime access it is in addition to that what else you also need something that is very important you need coaching you need to be guided so in order to receive the proper guidance you need to put some money aside to take care of the the, the cost of being guided by a mentor now, getting a guide would cost you a little money, but it will save you a lot of money in that in future. Because if you're in a coaching program such as the SAC crash course or the mentorship course that is more intensive, that is for a six-week period, but I always often I often recommend that people go through the SAC crash course before they go to the mentorship course. Now, whatever level you are, you would need some support. You, you would need some guide. And that is why you need to put some money for immediate or short-term expenses and of course the long-term expenses such as getting your passport registering for standardized tests if and only if 
it is required by the school and in addition to that paying application fees especially for the few schools i repeat paying application fees to the few schools that will not give you application fee waiver because in the HSC crash course you get access to this hack book and in the hack book you also find a list of schools with application fee waivers whoa this is so beautiful have you joined the SSC crash course how perhaps you're wondering what this whole thing is all about go visit our website www.studyandimpact.com i hope this video has been helpful i hope that you would begin to commit to um um putting some uh, uh, i mean putting money aside to be able to take care of some short-term and long-term expenses i will look forward to you joining us and if you need me to respond to any immediate question you can drop a comment make sure you like this video make sure you like love subscribe and tell somebody to subscribe and definitely do share this video with somebody who is passionate about studying abroad everyone deserves a fully funded scholarship but not everyone is willing to put in the work are you going to put in the work today please come on board see you soon